Hi, I'm MJ Slocko and this is my demo reel. It's just a short sampling of stories and stand-ups from my time in community TV. And the reason for this intro is because I look a little different today than I do in the reel. And that's because I've been spending more time in places like this, working on these, so I can have more energy in the field. And now, I'm ready to go, so have a look and let me know what you think. Besides teaching kids how to properly lace up their skates, the city also features programs helping adults and youth hit the ice, especially those who have never skated and people like me where it's clearly been a while. Right. <laughs> Great job. How about we go skate over there oh. while we're doing it? Oh. Don't forget to keep your head up <laughs> and smile. All the way over right. there. All right. Unlike a certain three-hour tour we know, this is a two-hour tour. And Carnegie says there's a certain friendliness that comes out when people are on the water. Let's see. Hi there! So what's the difference between hockey and sledge hockey? Well here, players are seated in a sledge. And instead of one stick, there's two, with a pick at the one end to go fast. But players here say the best part of the game is that everyone is on level ice. The train has been running on these tracks since 1999. And Santa himself says the journey is about so much more than just spreading Christmas spirit. When that lights out, we start the bus. Bus driver Janet Fleetham has a schedule to keep. And that's why she's here early, finishing her safety check. We start under the hood every morning. And we're going to open up. We're going to open, when we do it, we, uh, we check for the oil. Check our red fluids, check all in here. Make sure there isn't anything leaking or anything, we check all here. There's also the lights. Then I'm going to go back inside and I'm going to take the brake, the axe off the brake. And the tires. and the emergency exits. This has to be on there tight, no loose. We open the back door, that way there. Uh, we check, make sure it's good. And underneath. Make sure everything is secure and tight. And of course, inside. Do our child check, which is this button here. And on the way back, we, we look again, we start looking under the seats. We also do this at the end of every school that we do. We have to, These daily safety checks check taking up a good chunk really of time. Sure it's topped up. And now she's ready to roll. Fleetham is en route picking up life's most precious cargo. Good morning, how are you? It's good. Good. Awesome. You have to sit down. and delivering them to the teachers, safe and sound and ready to learn. This is Fleetham's 19th season driving kids to class. She says she fell into the job that she's come to love. I know all their names. I get to know all my students. I need to know all their stops, uh, their drop-offs, pickups, who's picking them up. Fleetham has a message for drivers. She says, pay attention to these stop signs. Far too many people are still ignoring these lights and putting little lives in jeopardy. It is very, very frustrating because we give a, we slow the buses down, we give our warning, and by the time we get to our stop and have the stop arm out, they should know that that bus is coming to a full stop and they should be acknowledging that and they need to stop. They really need to stop for the safety of these children. And it's her dedication to safety and respect for the children that lets Fleetham know she's making a difference in their lives. What's the best part of your day? Oh, picking up the children. Pick, I, I love picking up the children. Yeah, they're cute little faces. MJ Slocko for My Community is Durham. My name is Cody Morrison, and I am who I am. I read Mitchell Wilson's story and the story of the Mitchell fa or the Wilson family and you know I, I thought to myself things like this can happen they don't happen they shouldn't happen. When Cody Morrison found out what happened to the bullied 11 year old the grade 12 student felt compelled to act. I wouldn't want that to happen to me in my school why should it happen to somebody at another school you know and and that's the reason we need to make this change and that's the reason I want to help make this change that's my inspiration. Morrison is one of several Pine Ridge Secondary School students spearheading the I Am Who I Am campaign. 
an acceptance initiative bringing all Pickering students together in solidarity. The main theme is acceptance, accepting yourself for who you are, accepting everybody else for who they are, and I think that that's just a message that needs to be widespread, and that's what we're trying to do here today. I know it's going to make a change, and I know it's going to, it's going to stretch from Pickering all over Durham Region. That's what our hope is. And of course, the inspiration for the campaign is 11-year-old Mitchell Wilson. Mitchell's family says he was repeatedly targeted by bullies, and even last fall, he was jumped by a 12-year-old student robbing him of an iPhone and his dignity. This past September, Mitchell was supposed to start grade six right here at West Creek Public School in Pickering, but on the morning of the first day of school, his father made a tragic discovery. The 11-year-old had taken his own life, but Craig Wilson says bullying likely wasn't the only reason Mitchell turned to suicide. There's a lot of factors that come into play. You know, losing your mother at eight years old, uh, you know, and having to cope with all the things. And you only take so many hits to, to your to your emotions and before you just overload. He had muscular dystrophy. He uh, didn't feel accepted in society. Uh, he didn't want to live the rest of his life in a wheelchair, subsequently bed on a breathing tube, feeding tube. At 11 years old, he probably could Google muscular dystrophy and know what he was in for. Mitchell's watching and uh, let's get this message out there, guys. Thanks a lot. Wilson says his son would have been proud of the I Am Who I Am initiative, and Morrison says he and other students are keeping Mitchell's memory alive. The more people we get, the bigger it gets, and that, that was one of my, one person makes a difference, and I hope I can make a difference in this campaign too. So. MJ Slocko for My Community is Durham.